Hey boys and girls, uh, we're here at the Biltmore Hotel in uh, Florida, um, in Coral Gables, and uh, we're basically uh, talking to some of the Dow folks and some of the other people that are uh, basically involved in this. And right now, I have uh, I have Ricky uh, Paw, and he's from um, 1440 Sports. And so the first thing I'm going to ask is, what the hell? First off, <laughs> can you give us a little background, and then sure. you can tell me about 1440. Yeah, sure. So, um, well, why don't I tell you about 1440? So, uh, you know, so 1440, essentially, you know, what, what we try to do is bring great B2B organizations into platforms like Formula E, Formula One, IndyCar, NASCAR, so that they can integrate yeah. their technology, tell great stories around it. And uh, yeah, years ago, we saw that Dow was making, you know, major investments into mobility science and had some huge targets there. And we're talking kind of now back 2016, 2017, 2018. And, um, and, and Dow thought that that was, a, you know, made a lot of sense to explore mm. Formula E. Uh, we were very lucky that they, uh, that they put their faith in us to, to help them explore where best to place those chips and how best to take advantage of it. And, um, you know, through a pretty thorough analysis, we, we landed on Jaguar as the right partner, and we've been very blessed that, you know, not only did we place them with Jaguar, but we've been uh, along with them for the ride ever since to help them make sure that they get the most out of the partnership. I, I, I got to tell you, though, um, I, I'm very interested in how you connected or how you got these people to connect, because it seems like a, a wonderful marriage. Yeah. Um, uh, today's, uh, you know, we had quite a few speakers, um, but unfortunately we couldn't uh, videotape and when I took some notes. Yeah. But, but we're really and truly, uh, what, what interested me the most was the connection between uh, the different uh, speakers and whatever it was that they were doing and Dow. Yeah. And that includes, of course, uh, the, uh, the E-Series e uh, F1 kind of stuff. I'm, yep. I'm just, how did you, how did you make that all happen? Oh man, that's, uh, that's, a, that's a really good question, right? So, so, so look, I, I think there's, there's, there's always a couple things, right? So, so first and foremost, um, if you lift it to a, I'm gonna get a little bit boring here. If you lift it just to a macroeconomic situation at the moment, which is, is that buyers don't wanna take meetings anymore, right? So, so if you have Dow sellers, you have any company, an intercompany here, buyers ultimately don't want to just take meetings, right? Mm -hmm. They can go onto the internet, they can source information from any number yeah, of places. Yeah. Uh, you know, technology gives us that ability now. The RFP has gotten a lot more important than ever before, or, or pre prevalent, I should say. And, and advisors, you know, big organizations now, they go to Deloitte, they go to Accenture, they go to the big consultants yeah, and yeah. say, hey, you know, where should we be placing our chips with what suppliers? And you know, our notion, our, our raison d'etre, if you will, at, at, at 1440 is to say, well, wait a minute, we don't sell to businesses, we sell to people. Mm. And, and people have personal passions and then they have their professional interests. And if we as an organization can help folks like Dow meet their customers, meet their prospects at the intersection of those personal passions and those professional interests, that's where the magic happens. And so, you know, when you look at what we tried to do today and how we layer in, you know, great folks like yourself uh, who bring a really interesting perspective and point of view. If you look at, you know, guys like Jack Lambert from Jaguar who brings a really like interesting yeah. and amazing story, people want to engage, they want to hear that story. Now, it just so happens that Dow is at the heart of that story because of the yeah. work that they're doing with Jaguar to help with light weighting, to help with thermal management, to help with you know EMI coatings, whatever that may be, it elevates the story, it makes it more interesting, it makes it more relatable, and ultimately everybody goes away and they think, hey, that was interesting, right? And you know what, that's kind of, I was gonna try and see what you had to say and then I was gonna say, this is like going to um, almost like entertainment. Yeah. I can remember, you know, uh, in the olden days when you'd go to a conference and, hello, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this boring crapola, yep. and I'm going to do, you know, overhead slides or slides that came out or even even email kind of, or sorry, uh, PowerPoint kind of stuff, but it was so boring. boring. So boring. And, uh, so and boring. everybody stopped. Yeah. I mean, it was like a, one day there was a bunch of conferences and the next day, none. Yep. 
So this to me, I mean, every one of the speakers and even the panelists, every one of them had something that, uh, for me anyway, yeah. was interesting. Yeah. I didn't get, um, I didn't think anything today was, no, uh, was uh, a waste of my time. Well, I'd I love to hear that. And you know, I, um, now I, I also credit Dow's team hugely here and the way that they've prepped those speakers, the way that they sourced a lot of those speakers. I give a lot of credit to my team as well that was part, part mm -hmm. of that process. You know, but it goes, it also goes one step further, Sandy, you know, it goes even outside of these walls. So, you know, what we saw like post COVID was a lot of organizations say, hey, let's just push out these use cases and these white papers and yeah. join our virtual webinar. And it was just more cars on the road to get to the customer. And it just created this boring traffic jam yeah. and the use cases that nobody reads. And, you know, they just, yeah. you know, we pat ourselves on the back and we say, you know, wasn't that great? We did that event. But did the event get cut through? Did the, yeah. did the use case get white, you know, cut through? Did the white paper get cut through? Did that piece of content get cut through? And when you layer in things like you know, motorsport and, and, and you know, great stories like this, great speakers, you get that engagement. And I think mm. we saw that today, and I'm certainly you know, appreciate that you saw it. Well, I, I was pretty impressed. I, I'm, I'm very happy. Great. So let's go uh, back a smidge, yeah. and, and I'd, like to, uh, I'd like to have you explain where did the name 1440 <laughs> Sport come from? Yeah. And, uh, and the fact that you're in London is kind of a, a surprise as well. So why don't you uh, dip into that a bit? Yeah, sure, sure. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll avoid all of the, you know, the deep potted history, but you know, that at, at the end of the day, 1440 is the number of minutes in a day. And, it, and, it, and it, the reason for that is um, a lot of what we're talking about here, which is, you know, if you look at commercial organizations, what they often talk about is how do we get 30 minutes with our customer, you know, a decision maker, hmm. um, because if we can get 30 minutes with a buyer, we think that we have a much greater chance at, you know, closing, closing business, having success. And, you know, what I saw with motorsport in particular was that this gave you an entire day that you could spend with somebody at the track or in an event like this talking about their personal passion, that professional interest, right. and also having an authentic reason to be there. Hey, there is our EMI coding, you know, on, you know, in that car, uh, yeah. there is our silicones, there is our, you know, the, the, the way and the process in which we help, you know, lightweight that car. So we can go, we can, inter we can, uh, we can hang out around what, what we were able to do for this particular race team. And, and, and then we can spend the whole day together uh, in getting to know each other and never in any other context where a customer normally spend an entire day with you, right? And so you yeah. spend it, you know, so, so the notion of 1440 is, hey, motorsport's a platform that gives us in a way, an authentic way to spend all day with our customer. It's not, it goes away from hospitality for hospitality's sake. Hey, do you wanna come drink champagne by a trackside? Okay. Those have kind of like gone the way of like, you know, cut off jean shorts and, you know, heavy metal yeah, rock yeah, bands, right? Yeah. So we, we're trying to, we're trying to just create a little bit of a different go to market mousetrap. And, uh, and that notion of 1440 uh, is that. The other thing is, is that, you know, we, um, we, we know that motorsport is a hugely consumed platform in terms of content. Um, and so it's always on. So people are consuming it 24 mm. hours a day, 365 mm. days, right? Yep. So, yeah. um, so there's a couple of notions in there that we use 1440 to kind of keep us on track of why we do what we do. Hmm. So um, uh, the deal with London, um, mm. most uh, or quite a few people here are um, obviously British. Yeah. Um, how, do, how did you locate these people? Because quite frankly, um, finding talent here in, uh, in North America has been tough. So um, is there a difference uh, that you've seen in, 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 uh, in uh, London or what is? Well, you know, I, um, it's, a, it's a good question. I'm originally American. I grew up in Washington, DC. Yeah. Uh, I, I have a background. I you know, played, played baseball a million years ago and then I ended up doing management consulting and then I, I ended up in London. What I will say is that um, given the sector and the industry that we're in, it's, it's pretty sexy. Uh, it attracts really great talent to begin mm. with because people want to work in kind of a cool industry. Yeah, and wow. we, um, you know, at least at 1440, are really privileged that we get a lot of times the, you know, the, the, the 
choice to, uh, to, to pull in really great folks who maybe they're working in another industry, Sandy, mm -hmm. right? And, and, and now they realize, hey, I'm not so passionate about that industry that I'm working in. Wouldn't it be great if I could work in motorsport because I really yeah, love it? And, yeah. um, and so we get a chance to, to, to pull those folks together. And it just so happens that, you know, 90 miles from our offices in West London are all of the, well, the majority of the yeah, Formula yeah, One race yeah, teams, right? right. You've got McLaren. You've yeah. got Silverstone. You've got McLaren in Woking, yeah. only 45 minutes from us. You've got, you know, you've got Williams, you've got yeah. uh, Red Bull, you've got Mercedes, uh, and kind of list goes on. So, you know, we're really fortunate about that. Well, um, I will tell you that uh, this has been... <laughs> Brilliant, as far awesome. as I'm concerned, yep. and I'm pretty Good happy British about British word, it. by the way. A really, yeah, 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 I'm from Canada, eventually, <laughs> or originally. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy about uh, what, what time I spend here. Great. And believe me, uh, I feel like I've been dried through a knothole breach for the last week. I've been everywhere yeah. at the same time almost. Yeah. And this was invigorating. Fantastic. I mean it. So, um, so we're going to put your name and. Uh, and basically contact information. Please do. And uh, and quite frankly, it wouldn't hurt my feelings to recommend you to um, other people who are looking for maybe some something other than um, a McKinsey or whomever uh, to come and uh, help them out with whatever their ambitions are for marketing and um, and ultimately sales. Because I'm telling you right now. I got two leads out of this, yeah. and that doesn't happen very often. Wow. And and quite frankly, like I said, everything I've seen today has been interesting enough that I actually took notes. <laughs> and you get, uh, you have one of our notebooks, and too. And I do. I got yeah. it right here. So <laughs> at the end of the day, I, I'm pretty happy with everything. And thank Ricky, you. thank you so much. I thank really you, appreciate no, your time. It was a real pleasure. Yeah. And thank you so much for coming yeah. and being part of it. Well, yeah. I, uh, I'm i glad I'm here. I really am. That's this has great. been brilliant. Wonderful. Okay. Love to hear it. Thanks Good for the time. Good to do. And it. thank you. And thank you for watching Monroe Live.